what is going on, everybody? Yo, yo, yo! It is Pixelmarius here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. When we left off, Maya has channeled Abbott in me. It's, yeah. And it's, it's <laughs> a little weird, but we're getting places, kind of. He's being a little sneaky, little dicky guy, but he's talking about a secret, they're recording the secret hideout. There's secrets in the secrets. And so the bailiff is going to go find the secret, uh, secrets. The, the secret secrets, and we're going to get some details on this crime. The power of crying is prayer. <laughs> Even the putrid brain such as yours should understand it now. I still, why is putrid brain orange? That's what I want to really know. loves that. It's like the contradiction really did vanish. We shall ascertain the content of the recording once we have the tape. In the meantime, I would ask Abbott and me to continue with his testimony. Come on. There we go. Very well. All right, bring us your testimony, part two. Wait, it's testimony. I heard everything. I was entertaining his majesty and his family when the crime occurred. Ugh. When I listened to the tape later, I heard a man and a woman quarreling. It sounded like an altercation between Acolyte Zealot and Acolyte Fay. After that, there was a loud noise followed by haunting silence. Huh. I have to find some way to attack his alibi. Whoa. <laughs> if only Maya were here. She has a way of putting me at ease. Aw. Oh, God. But seeing her like this is only creeping me out. Though the high priest was a rebel, he was still a crying holy man. Therefore, take care in your questioning lest you invoke the eye of our people. How dare you suspect the high priest? May the Holy Mother strike him blind! Jesus. <laughs> As if this wasn't hard enough already. <sighs> nice try, but I'll stop at nothing to find the truth. Yep, that's what we do. It's All how we right. do it. So, the cross-examination. zippity doo da zippity day So let's take a look at everything that we have here. Okay. I was entertaining his magistry and his family when the crime occurred. When I listened to the tape later, I heard a man and a woman quarreling. Sound like an altercation between Acolyte Zealot and Acolyte Fay. After that, there was a loud noise followed by a haunting silence. Well, what was this loud noise that you heard? Any more details on this? A loud noise? Let's say that's worth looking into. Mm hmm. It was a terrible crashing sound. Poor Acolyte Zealot must have felt so heavy. It must have been the sound of that stone slab falling over. Should I have made that statement to his testimony? Yeah, add it. Yeah. Why wouldn't we? Yeah. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. I would describe the noise as a terrible crash. Or is that it? It must have felt so heavy. Alright, let me save. I'm gonna press it again. But I have So why would he know what feels heavy? Well, I mean, he is, uh, he, he, that is his so he, space I know, there, so, so he, he would just assume the what it was. Thing, the only thing I can think of is that even though it was the slab, it was standing up afterwards. Mm-hmm. So we're going to press him on this, but maybe that'll be all we go with here. You believe that terrible crash is connected like a zealot, acolyte zealot's death? Yes, the sound, no doubt, was poor zealot's death, no. Such a tragedy for he was a fine disciple. I would ask God here today to give a prayer for his departed soul. Zushere Matami Yoma. Zushere Matami Yoma. Zushere Matami Yoma. Tapioca. Woo. Tapioca pudding. <laughs> I had high hopes for that young man's future. Why do I feel like such a jerk for just trying to do my job right for now? For real. So all he knows about the crime is what he heard on the tape? And he was at this magistrate and his family at the time. Now that I have proven the soundness of my alibi, then it was about time for me to return to the Twilight Realm. <laughs> What's the rush? You know, why not enjoy some more time among the living? I better find a way to attack his alibi soon. I'll just have to press harder and hope something useful comes out. Right, and that's what that second statement was. Yeah. Is that uh, the uh, well, the last statement that we have here. Uh, I would 
Describe the noise as a terrible crash. Poor Zelda must have felt so heavy. Save again just in case. Over needed saving, but it's what I do best. Okay, so. We'll describe that noise like, as a yeah, terrible crash. Like, yeah, who would have pushed it back up? Maya couldn't have done that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah. I mean? Yes. I'm gonna try it. That's not nope. what I'm looking for at all. <laughs> I think we're being too nitpicky. Yeah. I need to rethink what he gave us. Press back when he was saying how he thinks it was Zella and Maya. He'd be like, hey, what makes you think that? It was a man and a woman. Why are you just assuming who it was? I mean, I can try. I don't think that'll give us anything new, though. It's it, worth a shot, though. It already gave us our new statement, but I'll see what he has to say about this. Hold on. Are you sure about those voices? Was it really Accolade Zella and Miss Faye? I'd say that was the most reasonable conclusion under the circumstances. Or perhaps Akali Faye has an alibi that you can prove? Um, I'm afraid not. Then I suggest you make like a mollusk and clam up. <laughs> Jesus. Now I'll continue my testimony if I may. Yep, that didn't take us nowhere, so. Alright, we've got to follow this last yeah, this, one. Yeah, uh, this voice I chose for him is much easier on my vocal cords. There you go. <laughs> he's not too old. He's no. in his like 40s stuff. He just looks right. old because he's pretty much a skeleton. Yeah. I would describe the noise as a terrible crash. Poor Zealot, it must have felt so heavy. What do we have? I don't know what we have that goes against that. Why would he say, like, oh, it must have felt so heavy when it was the statue that killed him? Well, I guess it's the fact of uh, the terrible crash, you know, is the stone slab falling, I would assume. Mm. It just, I don't quite get it. I don't it's just, quite get it. How does he know that's how he died? You know? Yeah. How does he know I mean, that? Maybe we can... Because I, I don't think we talked about it in court with him here, did we? No. He doesn't know anything about us talk about in court. The only thing I think of is maybe it's the fact that it was actually a stab that killed him. Maybe. No, what the hell are we missing? Something no matter. Yes, everything <laughs> is the matter, Judge. Give me a second here to, to, to rethink my plan of attack. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Huh. Whoa. All right, come on. It was loading, so it got a little slow there. It did. All right. So uh, I'm just going to start from the beginning and see what happens. I'm going to press these first two and see if it brings us anything new. So you were entertaining his magistrate and his family during the crime. I mean, Phoenix did say we have to pick at it bit by bit, which we haven't been. Well, he said we need to get a new thing from his testimony, which we did. I so. know, but earlier he said that. Yeah. Indeed. Well, that's the judge. Indeed. My wife believed was treating them to her wonderful home cooking. Your wife was there that day? Why, yes. She was in the kitchen cooking up a storm the entire time. Come to think of it, I don't think I saw her at all that day. Oh. She takes her culinary duties most seriously, you see. Which is why she was in the kitchen cooking without pause the entire day. So the judge never saw Mrs. Enmy? Did she was in the kitchen the entire day. No, she wasn't. Let's, 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 have, let's have him add that. You took a picture together with her. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. Hmm. We needed that. Yeah. See, this is why we need to press everything in, in instances like this. Yeah. I'm and I see. believe was in the kitchen cooking the entire time. The well, whole, she took a nice family photo. The whole day. We didn't see her at all. That's the Susan used that apparently. Well, okay. Really? <laughs> Maybe I've just got to press that first and see what happens. Uh. But I don't know. I, I, are we, I are we getting it. ahead of things again? Probably. I took a gamble God, and it didn't this, work. This game needs to give us some credit. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, it's you know, it's meant for you know, more than just older people. Like yeah. some. Right. Press this then. I don't. I don't we'll see. I don't know. What was your wife making that day? 
menu that day featured Hatin Space and uh, Mel Meltemot. <laughs> They're both traditional Chinese dishes. Ha! Huh. I can't even begin to imagine what those are. <laughs> ah, yes! The exquisite zest of Hatin Space and supreme texture of Meltemot. <laughs> Voldemort. God damn it. <laughs> Lady and me's cooking that day was utterly unforgettable. Thank you. It brings me great joy to know you enjoyed your meal. Now, once his majesty and his family had left. Hmm. Last thing I have is what was on the tape. Later, I heard a man and woman quarreling. You heard everything from a recording? Indeed. Each night, I would secretly check what the listening device had recorded. I would have been in serious trouble with my lovely wife had she discovered my secret. Can you really tell what happened by the audio alone? Long years of aesthetic training have sharpened my hearing. It is but a simple matter for me to ascertain the situation by the sounds I hear. But practicing criticism improves the hearing? <laughs> hearing is but one of the senses it can improve. If one can focus and attain an inner peace, all five senses can be sharpened. <laughs> Why, the warband over in the bazaar just cried. Did you not hear it? Give me a break. <laughs> oh, I guess mm. you just have to press everything again. Mr. Height! Do you still feel the need to question the High Priest? His honor by is as tight as tight can be. This isn't going so well. I'm asking about something else. I'm curious, Abbot in me. Did you stop by the Rebel Hideout after His Majesty left? Yes, I thought it would be wise to assess the situation. But as I said before, there was nothing to see. The hideout appeared as it always had. And the victim's body? It was nowhere to be found. Acolyte Fay must have already disposed of it and anything else incriminating. So when you saw the rebel hideout, it looked like it does in this photo? Hmm, yes, I would say that is how it appeared that day. So the stone slab has been put back in place. As we were thinking. Uh-huh. Okay. And if it was heavy enough for where a man could not have held it up, how could Maya pull it all the way back up from But being then again, over? how could uh Believe in Me could have done that either, so that doesn't really help our case too much. But Mr. Right? Yes. Is it not time to concede defeat? No. no, 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 wait, I just need a little more time. Mm, if you insist. Oh, wow, really? Okay, so it brought us back here. <sighs> huh. Did I change my his family when the crime occurred? No, I believe it was in the kitchen cooking the entire time. This is the tape later. I heard a man and a woman quarreling. It's not like an autocage between my family and his. Uh, you know what? Maybe now. Okay. Now we present the picture because now we have the fact that this is just as a me and Masada for the incident with the stone back up. Mm -hmm. So now I'm confident. I'm going to save first because I'm not that confident. Yeah. But now maybe we use that because we can be like if it was so heavy, how did it get back up? Mm -hmm. There we go. We're just too well, far no, ahead of the game. We're saying he's the one that killed him. So he would have been able to pull it back up. Yeah. I don't know why you're t going well, with his wife. That well, was our that was our previous. Well, I'm saying that for us, saying that if he if she did it, but but anyways, we're going Abbott with he me. did it. Abbott in me, you said, and I quote, "Poor zealot, it must have felt so heavy." <laughs> Why do you think he felt something heavy? He said the hideout looked like this, looked like it did in this photo. Yeah, true. If so, does not lead you to believe he experienced a heavy feeling. <laughs> The fact is, of course, a stone slab did fall over on Nakalai Zealot and pulling him on the warbad statue behind him. But that was only revealed through her benevolence's divination seance earlier. Hmm, would a defense please get to the point? My point is, simply hearing a crashing sound shouldn't have automatically led him to conclude the victim was crushed to death. I still don't see your point. <laughs> I'm saying that the high priest knew. He knew how the victim was really Oof. killed. Why? And that is information only the real killer could have known. Oh, God. Uh -oh, not again. Not again. <laughs> there we go. Rescue. 
I, I definitely saw it that time. I've got the high priest spirit shaking in his boots. Or should I say sandals? <laughs> Need to remind you, Abedin Mia was with his majesty at the time of the crime. Such an alibi precl pre precludes him from being the killer. That's true, so we can't be the killer. However, he knew how Zealot was killed. Something only the killer could know. Hmm. Can this discrepancy be resolved somehow? Well, Mr. Hate, we're waiting for an explanation. I was just getting to that. Time to think of something quick. The high priest knew something only the killer could have known because... He heard it during the trial? No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say without even looking at him. Just precocious, pre precociously. He inferred it after the fact or he heard it from the real culprit. I'm gonna go with that one. He must have heard how the victim died from... Uh, Maybe his wife? From the real killer. Yeah. And he helped her. Mm, Possibly. The real killer. What? Of course. That makes perfect sense. What? I'm doing voodoo on I you I don't want right to believe now. it, but this is the only possible explanation. So tell us, who is this real killer? It's got to be someone close to the high priest. Yep, here someone we go. Someone alibi. The person most likely to be Zealot's killer is. That's why you never saw her. <laughs> Get this party rolling. Your Majesty, while you're visiting the High Priest's home, you didn't see Miss Inmi at all, did you? No, I never saw her, but wh what does that have to do with anything? Did the High Priest ever leave your sight? No, we were talking the entire time, and the food was brought right to the room's entryway. So the High Priest has an ironclad alibi. But his wife does not. What the <laughs> devil are you insinuating? Oh, I think you know. I'm insinuating that Mrs. Enemy might have killed Acolyte Zealot. Now everyone's mad again. <laughs> this fucking guy keeps accusing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you have a lot of nerve making such a baseless allegation. She had no motive to kill Acolyte Zealot. It was like family to a... Uh... No. We can't entirely discount the idea. Especially if you I consider this that music. Mrs. Emmy could have been the one posing as Lady Kira. Yeah, that was our theory long ago. Yeah. <sighs> Even a fool must temper his foolishness at times. Or do you truly believe Lady Kira would kill like Zealot though he was not a rebel? As we all know, the High Priest was secretly a rebel. It would follow that his favorite disciple could very well be a rebel, too. Yep. Uh, are you suggesting that Mrs. and me killed her husband as well? As sad as it is to think she'd kill her own husband to rid the kingdom of rebels, I don't think we can rule it out. Hmm. Oh, boy. Whoa. Ah! Yikes! You claim my wife is that rebel hunting Lady Kira. And that she slew both Zealot and myself? My lovely wife? That is utterly impossible! Kua! Kua! <laughs> ah! I've never seen the High Priest so angry! It is as evidently stated. And the accused has already been found guilty of his murder. It is far too late to overturn it. But that's right, Mr. Wright! Now apologize to the good priest before he gets angry again! Quickly now! No, I'm not going to apologize. <gasps> the trade of Lady Kira is a major piece to this trial's puzzle. It is. Admit it, Abbott and me. Your wife, Lady and me, killed you. Yet even now, you continue to lie in the effort to protect her. How absurd. It appears the lawyer has forgotten. My lovely wife could not possibly battle the rebels in the guise of Lady Kira. But we were blessed by her holiness and she is a child. Praise be to the Holy Mother. I finally brought that back up. Yeah. At I completely forgot about that. That abominable Lady Kira figure who slew me and Acolyte Zealot was the accused. This is bad, but I can't give up now. Don't forget, my client doesn't have the strength to fight rebels either. Mm. How could a weak young woman like her possibly- Hey! <laughs> yep. Oh god, oh boy, here he comes. Jutsu! <laughs> Nailed it. Here he goes. Bless you. <laughs> you foolish off of a lawyer. If only you were as blessed as Lady in me. What? what? 
Surely the accused possesses the strength. Or should I say, the power. The power to battle those black-hearted rebels. But uh, what are you talking about? My good prosecutor, I see you have some to the, come to the same conclusion as I. I'm sure they'll say that she was channeling Lady, Lady Kira. Kira and became her. Such keen insight. Then you have figured it out as well, Abbot and me. May I ask you to explain it to this putrid Blaine lawyer? Blaine lawyer? Blaine? <laughs> Certainly, for I cannot allow him to frame my lovely wife for murder. Foreign devil! Your Majesty, allow me to testify as to how my F.A. is that murderous Lady Kira. Well, well if it would assuage your anger. And by all means, please testify. Or is it assuage? I'm not sure. Oh. English. It's a word. Witness it's a word that you say. Testimony. My F.A. is Lady Kira. The acolyte fate channeled Lady Kira's spirit. There it is. She's a spirit medium who knows Lady Kira's true name, so she could have done it. So it was the real Lady Kira who returned to root out the rebels among us. She attacked and killed me with a strength for far beyond any mortal woman. Huh. B but but Do you understand now? Murder by spirit channeling explains everything. This is the only way the accused could have defeated one rebel after another. Indeed, I am a living, or shall I say, dead proof of her terrible power. Oh, God, why you gotta have a point? Maya's alibi, Maya's ability to channel spirits. Maya's alibi. Yes, come back to haunt her. Literally. Now, as it is not time to let it go and move on, defense. Oh my God, stop. No, never. I'll never give up. Now what? Never give think, in. Never surrender. Think. How can I prove that Maya couldn't have channeled Lady Kira? Okay, so I've got to prove... That Maya couldn't have channeled Lady Kira. Hmm. That is the hint that Phoenix has laid upon us. Was, uh, I can let Phoenix channel Lady Kira's spirit. She is a spirit medium who knows Lady Kira's true name, so she could have done it. That is true because it is in that in that wild book. The thing that she had. Book. Yeah, the, the Tome thing, of Secrets. The only thing I can think of is that it is, uh, huh. The thing to think of is that the picture doesn't match who is in like the newspaper, because that's a that's a it's a wild trip of a woman right there. Hmm. But those legs, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh. What do you mean doesn't match the newspaper though? Well, I don't think we have the picture anymore. But the the lady cure that was running around that was caught on picture didn't quite look like that, you know. Hmm. So. Not physically, at least, but, hmm. What else you got here, so? So it was the real Lady Kira who returned to root out the rebels among us. She attacked and killed me with a strength far beyond any mortal woman. Huh, 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 huh. I think we've learned that we need to press everything. <laughs> My client channeled Lady Kira? Isn't that a little far-fetched? Like a Pokemon? <laughs> God damn it. Far-fetched, you say? I love that Pokemon. Why, the very fact that I am here proves she has the power to channel spirits. Uh, uh but you've no proof she actually channeled Lady Kira. Yeah. Oh, but I do. Do you? Right. Well, oh, it's yeah. the fact that she's uh, she knows her real Press name. It. Well, it's true she may be capable of channeling Lady Kira. I doubt there's any proof she actually did. We are talking about the infamous Rebel Hunter here. That modern day Lady Kira has captured many a rebel all by herself. And among them have been more than a few great warriors. Who but the real Lady Kira could have accomplished her defeat? Hmm, it would be difficult for a mere mortal. You're just an extremely talented pregnant woman. Uh, it's possible. At least <laughs> the real Lady Kira of legend as the only likely answer. Indeed. Is this not proof enough that the real Lady Kira of Legend has been channeled? Real Lady Kira of Legend? That's an oxymoron if I've ever heard one. And again, people of crime believe legends to be true. Huh. Lady Kira returned to root out the rebels among us. Lady Kira is an actual person? 
Do you really believe there ever was a woman that powerful? Phoenix. One capable of battling <laughs> rebels much bigger and stronger than herself? Phoenix. <laughs> There's no way to prove that. But to doubt the existence of Lady Kira is, no, is to doubt Krionism itself. It is not for us to question. We must simply believe. Yeah, how dare you doubt our legend? <sighs> Phoenix. No going to say that, you coconut lady gear's gonna strike you down! Uh, I won't get anywhere until I can refute their claims with some evidence. Okay. She dang you in the Okay, so. I, I, I guess I'll press this, but then I gotta get. And I think this one will actually have to present evidence too, but. The strength far beyond any mortal woman? And just how strong would that be? You need but look at the wound she inflicted upon my body. That way I'd hope to never have to think about that again. Your wound? It was pretty deep and there was a tremendous amount of blood. More like Lytel, it was a rather small in stature. He was strong. Nevertheless, he was no match for the sheer strength of Lady Kira. My spirit channeling is proof that she's Lady Kira? This is not good. I have to prove she didn't channel the original Lady Kira. Okay, so let's save because this is where it has to go, mm. I believe. So it was the real Lady Kira who returned to root out the rebels among us. The only thing we really have is the Tome of Secrets. The priestess acting as Lady Kira representative must know her name. That name is Imson. Speaking of this name is unforgettable. Lock this knowledge deep in your heart and devote yourself to prayer. And then there's the picture of her, mm. which I guess is that because it just looks wildly different from the one that we see. So, I save him, I'm going to wing it. Objection. Nope, that's nope. not it. Well, I'm a dumb dumb. That's not it at all. Uh, yuck. I'm going to go back over here <laughs> and bring this back up. Nope. No, 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 get the game back up. Jeez. This is where we get lost on everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to give in look at a walkthrough. No, like we know... Because we haven't used one yet. No, we know where the pieces of the puzzle go, but we don't know how the pieces fit in the order that the game wants it yeah. to. Yeah. Like we know the answer we're looking for, but uh -huh. I think, actually, we, just, we could be wrong We don't know but... how to get there. Spirit Ring, who knows Lady Kira's true name, so she could have done it. I mean, I can't really... It's, it's the fact that she was the real Lady Kira. That's what we have to refute. Mm-hmm. Where's that you? Real pose here of a hive out. Dark's book that does uh, guilty. That doesn't do us anything. Family picture. No. Believe statement. No. No, there's nothing in there. Not a flower. No, that's uh, what's his face is Dirk or not Dirk. It's up, 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 the uh, uh, Dats. That's his name. Yeah. Oh, that for war bad. Said to have been used by Lady Kira. I don't see anything wrong with that. Huh. I honestly don't know. I'm honestly not sure. What about, um, what's the whole thing with the Gingil again? Uh, that's, that's just that it's not used after 3 p.m. because of its stench. But it has to do with Lady Kira, too. I mean, I can go back to her statement over here. I believe statement. Uh, this is only prepared during the feast, which starts at noon and must be finished. It doesn't mention it about being Lady Kira, though. No. So. Well, didn't she talk about it being about Lady Kira? She did, but that's not part of the statement. So the, yeah, that, so that we can't use change it. Change anything. Nah. Does that okay, have anything? Because so, I mean, it has this Lady Kira-like figure that appeared to use your remains of mystery. Some town under Sierra's Lady Kira in the flesh. Some such rumors are fueling the entire conversation. So this could be it. Uh, that's the. Uh, we give thanks to the Lady Listen. What about that What? And then uh, maybe it's the newspaper. No. Nope. I'm dumb. Does anything come to mind? Apparently not. What oh if it's God. the Plume Punisher strap? I don't know. That would. I'm just trying to think of anything connected to Lady Kira because I mean, there's the War Bad Dagger, but I don't see how that. That's just. It doesn't. That's more of saying, anything. "Hey, this is Lady Kira." Come on, love. There <laughs> we go. Are we gonna have to look up a walkthrough? We might. <clears throat> I 
The only thing I can think of is maybe this goes here because this only says one name, but then he, I guess you could say it's Amsan Kira because it is Lady Kira, so. But. Objection! What? Are you kidding me? The Tome of Secrets is only given to the priestess <laughs> who performs the purification rite. This is your proof that my client could have channeled Lady Kira? Yes, indeed. For it contains the true name of Lady Kira, a secret only revealed within. How would you know? Well, I mean, even, um... But I, 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 oh, I, yeah, I, uh, uh, Rafa, she knew. Yeah, but the other thing could be is that, um... Believe in me, his wife mm -hmm. is the one that used to be um a priestess. She she used to stand in as Lady as Lady Kira in the rites before. It was only because she's right. pregnant she didn't do it this time. So she would know too. She can also channel spirits. I don't oh know. God, let's let's no. find out what's going on here. What, would, it, what would her knowing her real name have to do with anything? If she can channel spirits, then Oh my god, no. I'm afraid you're mistaken. This couldn't have been used to channel Lady Kira. Maybe it is the one name thing like I mentioned that I was yeah. rolling off what of. What nonsense! M Mr. Right, would you care to explain? Uh... I want to save because I don't know. Um... <laughs> Um, the bazongas. I don't know. I, I was going to say that. It's like, <laughs> obviously, this is wildly this version of movies. I, I mean, it's either that or it's the name. I guess that's the name. She's not wearing shoes. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, this is the classic depiction that no one's supposed to see in the first place. But uh, name bazongas. <laughs> name. I, I say <laughs> I'll go with name first. It's not the name. It's not the name. That worries me. Oh. I'm gonna return to the title. Cause we, cause gonna... we see what ha what has happened with uh, with uh, um, Mia when she shows up. Yeah. And fills up those clothes. Um, <laughs> is this is this really what is, is this really, really what we what do? It is? I really hope we're wrong and just really dumb. We are wrong. Oh, okay, good. thank God. Oh, good. Thank God. So, <laughs> maybe wow, it's... Wow, that made for a good laugh, though. So, is it the dagger? Because, I mean, it's not the name on there. Yes, I do keep reloading at the same point. I'm not taking those penalties, people. Because I would have lost by now. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, you would have. So, it's not the name. Not the bazongas. <laughs> so, there's... The mask, or maybe the dagger? I... I guess? Dagger! Nope. God, I am... You know, okay, I'm just gonna take this penalty. What does that have to do with severe channeling? Uh, oh, uh... Nothing as far as I can tell. <laughs> it's taking the same amount of time as it went as to I can tell, reload. Yeah, I was hoping it would go a little faster. That was the same amount I know of time the as it would have taken to reload. I just need to remember many. the requirements of spirit channeling. It's well, taking if, longer. If I'm wrong again, then then no, she couldn't have. All right, my two guesses are either the tootsies, or I can't even touch the tootsies. So I'm just gonna the say other, you could touch the other tootsies. <laughs> I could touch the tootsies. I'll say the mask. Maybe she can't. She can't channel a mask. There we go. Oh, wait, does she need a face? I can't remember. Lady Kira's face is hidden behind a mask in the Tome of Secrets. Yeah, you need to have a, a face and you a name. You need both a name yeah. and a face to channel a spirit. That's right. It can't be. Oh, God. Get Where back in there. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, ooey. Without a face, it would have been impossible for my client to channel Lady Kira. If Boom. only we had remembered that fact, we wouldn't have had those Wow, well, uh, everyone few, uh... is probably like, are you stupid? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> but don't worry. And about uh, 23 and a half hours, we'll try not be as stupid. Oh my god, we just wasted <laughs> so much time with these poor people. It's the, listen, when you subscribe uh, to the Pixel Partners, you understand that we're not the brightest. There, there's a disclaimer saying, hey, <laughs> you have to have patience to watch our videos. We're not the brightest tool in the wheelbarrow, okay? What? That doesn't even make any sense. Exactly. Oh my god. Exactly.